Here's the notorious 2.5 RS with some type of turbo kit on it. And here is our master electrician, technician, Brian, aka Baldy. Uh, would you would you please tell us what the problem was with this car? Why what what was wrong with it when it came here? Okay. Uh, well, we can start with um, it had uh, wiring issues as far as the windows, as far as the transmission, the airbags, everything. That's where we started. Uh, well, what kind of wiring issues? What happened? Uh, it looks like somebody at some point replaced the dashboard in this car because there's wiring underneath here that was all cut. But it also continues down the side of this car where I pull this apart real quick and you can see that somebody spliced this whole harness they cut in the here. Harness in half. They cut the harness and including on that side too. And on the other side. When they did that, they didn't do the, the wires properly. And some of the wires were actually reversed. And um, so we had to go through and find that. Next, we had ground issues. There was grounds left off up on top underneath the dashboard. There was, there was grounds down here by the ECU that were left off. Um, so that's why the car wasn't running properly. Correct. And then the airbags, there was also um, the harness had been cut for the airbags. Um, so that wasn't put together properly. Then we had to move on to the problems in the engine bay, uh, where we had oil leaks all over the place. Um, and uh, the oil pan itself, the return line, wasn't even welded to the pan. It was just put in place with uh, silicone, and that was it. Um, and then it also had uh, cam seal leaks, the crank seal was leaking. Uh, had a lot of leaks in it. So, uh, so now we're just left uh, wiring up a, a key manage. And, um, well, that, that, that's basically what the car came in for, right? Was to get tuned and, I, I and fixed. I believe that might be where, why it was here, but uh, we but couldn't the car even had get to problems. this point. Yeah, until we solved all these other issues. Hours and hours and hours. The transmission, exactly. no more transmission codes. That's all fixed. The wiring, all that's done. Yeah, it had transmission. So the car had a lot, the car was basically a basket case, right? Yeah, I'm surprised it actually still ran. I'm they surprised the car didn't catch fire. That's true too. If you see how many grounds were missing on this car, and that had been spl spliced back together. Right. So um, you put, we put new tires on, they were bald? Yep. We put new tire rods in? And, 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 and George, in the process of this job, have you been in touch with the customer's I've father? I've been in touch with the father, and the father's been and in advising the him. Yeah, he's been a great guy. He says to me, I said, look, if you want to take pictures of everything we did, he said, George, you're from Highly Recommended. I do trust you. I trust your work. You have good workers. So I, ex I explained to him step by step, and he said he wants to make this car safe for his son. It would have been easy for me just to fix the wiring and leave it alone, but you know, for me to look under the hood and see a, a, a nest, I mean, with wiring and oil leaks, I just cannot let a car go like that without giving, you know, somebody a call. You know, obviously I'm not as old as the customer's father, but I put myself in the shoes if this is my son's car, there's no way I'd let him drive the car like that. There is no possible way. Well, what else have you fixed on the car? I don't know. The list keeps going. I'm gonna have many, many hours in this car. Obviously, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to bill for every hour. And my main concern is to get this vehicle back to the customer the way it should be. Let's take a look at the turbo kit. You did. By the way. This turbo kit was not installed here, right? No, we did was we put new valve cover gaskets. It was uh, leaking. Yeah, the oil pan itself. What a what a piece of crap turbo kit. Well, the oil pan itself was actually uh, there was a fitting in there with silicone, so we removed the oil pan. <laughs> we put a proper fitting. We welded it. We did new valve cover gaskets. You uh, guys did not that. install that blow valve, right? No, we didn't do anything to this. Kit. No, we have not touched this. We just serviced it, made sure everything was fine. Yeah. Ball joints. Tie rod. No, we tie did, we did inner and outer tie rods. Yeah. So. We're getting the it car. It looks like the, possibly the transmission was previously replaced. Yes, correct. It's not it the original like, transmission. I don't believe it is. No, I believe a lot of this car has been changed. Maybe possibly due to an, accident. an accident. Yeah. It looks like the, the car. The problem was here is to fix somebody else's mistake and find out exactly what happened. There's a lot, a lot of time. Right. Well, we're not going to leave the customer hanging, right? We're going to fix the problems no, and get the car done. Unfortunately, it's taking longer than the customer expected, but the problem was bigger than we originally anticipated. Yeah, the car will be good. Get the car cleaned up, the line is ready to go. So we had a problem also with the lug nuts, uh, the little, all the little screws. We balance the wheels. The answers are all stripped, so I got to take time to take those apart. But you know, lots of time. Lots of lots of tedious, uh, tedious work.